the light you see on the other side of the Jamuna shining. It's Rasoligão, nearby. Rasoligão. Jiva Goswami, according to his teachings, the first place where Krishna called the gopis, it was in the place called Rasoligão. Krishna played the flute and attracted the gopis. Vrindavan, now we're sitting here. But actually, Vrindavan was very far. Means Vrindavana also was a um, Vrindavan is not only as like nowadays we call Vrindavan only the small part, but Vrindavan actually comprises a larger area. According to the conception of Jiva Goswami. When Krishna was six, he stole the clothes of the gopis. And then in that moment, Krishna gave a blessing to the gopis. He told in the next year, in the Sarad Purnima, I will fulfill all your desires. But <clears throat> when he was seven, Indra, at that time, he created a great trouble in Braj. So because of this, Krishna had to lift Giriraj. And then when Krishna was seven, he did not, did not perform Raslila with the gopis. So when he was eight, finally, then Krishna, for the first time, played the flute and called the gopis into that place, Rasoligam, in the other side of the Jamuna. That's why, <coughs> sorry, it's called Rasoli. According to the influence of time, there are description of many places. For example, the Tapo Bhumi of the gopis is also called, when you go to that place, it's also called Tapo Bhumi. Like the Sadans, the gopis, they were... They wanted to get Krishna as beloved, so they performed austerities. Shastra explains. Also, Bishana Chakrabartipada, in that book, which book? In that book also he describes that early in the morning, the gopis... So the months of Mag, gopis were going for bath, and <clears throat> it's called Tapovan. After that, when Krishna was eight, Krishna to fulfill the desires of the gopis. For the first time, he played the flute. In different days of Brahma, the Harikata is a little bit different. Like, for example, whatever was in the heart of Shukadeva Goswami Pad, the Lila which appeared in the heart of Shukadeva Goswami, the Lila is transcendental, Prakrita Lila. The Lila is consciousness, you know? To fulfill the desires of Krishna, Lila Shakti is manifesting all the pastimes. <coughs> Sorry. So, in this day of Brahma, in this Kalpa, Krishna. He performed the Ras Lila with the gopis. Like what is explained in the Shastra about the Rasalila. When we say Vrindavan, Vrindavan means actually a great area, Vishal Vrindavan, very big. Shastra explains about Vrindavan, two kinds. Panchakroshi Vrindavan, one kind, another one. Brihat Brindavan. Panchakroshi Brindavan is when you do the Brindavana Parikrama. It's the Panchakroshi Brindavana Parikrama. Where we do by foot. So, 
Deixar o Brindavan, Brihat Brindavan, also comprises a quando chama Kunda, Nandagão, etc. This is called Brihat Brindavan. Or, also is called Matur Mandal. Matur Mandal. Matur Mandal. All this is described in the Shastras. So, what do you think saying? The description of the Rasa Panchadai. The Shama Gita the Nanga Vardhanam. Gopis, when they heard the sound of the flute, they wanted to meet Krishna and they went running to meet with him. All Gopis were thinking, Krishna is only calling to me. Because actually, the sound of the flute of Krishna, it's uh, saying the sound clean, right? But this sound clean, According to the whatever Gopi, when the sound comes in the ear of the Gopi, she's hearing Krishna calling her name. Radhe Radhe Bole Bhakti Vinod Thakur is saying, Chinta Mani Moi Radha Kunda Tata, Taha Kunja Shata Shata. Shala Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he describes. Actually, Krishna by the sound of his foot, by the sound clean, he's actually taking the name of the gopis and calling to them. And each gopi thinks he's only calling to me. And each gopi, they give up the duty and service to their husband and they run to meet Krishna. The gopis are going side by side, but they couldn't see each other. <clears throat> Jokamai has arranged in such a way that all the gopis, they were so absorbed going to meditation, even though they were next to each other. One could not see the other one. They thought, oh, Krishna is calling only to me. Because in their mind, they were absorbed in Gobinda, in their mind. That's why they couldn't see anything else. Krishna by the sound of this, his flute, this prem which was in the heart of the gopis, Krishna has awakened this this prem. Tadananga vardhanam. Ananga, ananga means prema, love. One who has no limbs, it's called ananga. So the prema was awakened in such a way that all the gopis started running, thinking Krishna is only calling to me. <clears throat> Sorry. They could not see each other. Why? Because their eyes, their absorption, meditation, they're only thinking about Krishna. They couldn't see anything else. They couldn't see anything else. So they thought, Govinda is calling to me. Srila Jiva Gosampad. He describes all this. When Krishna was eight and he played the flute, and he started calling the gopis for us, it was in this place, Rasoligam. And then the gopis got together there, and then Krishna, he attained, I mean, came to the place of Rasa, Rasa Stali. When we say Rasa Stali, means actually there are many Rasa Stalis in Vrindavan, places of Rasa Lili, you know? Even though Bamshi Bhart, it's very famous that banyan tree when Krishna plays the flute underneath. There are many Bamshi Bharts, this banyan tree in Braj, where Krishna plays the flute. Many in Braj. Where Krishna plays the flute under the banyan tree and he jokes with the gopis and so many things. And then after that, they perform Ras Lila and all. But... This Om Shivart of Vrindavan is very famous. Very famous. 
so it's called also Rasa Mancha, the place, place of Rasa. But there are many other Ras, uh, Bamshi Bharts. Sometimes you also go to Bamshi Bhart in Bandirban. There is also a Bamshi Bhart there. Another place also. There are many places there are Bamshi Bharts, like Banyan Trees, where Krishna plays the flute and performs Ras Lila. Actually, after Krishna's disappearance, the great grandson of Krishna called Bhajranab, he, for remembrance of many Krishna's pastimes, he manifested these places. But there are so many other Bhamshivats, so many others. Because the pastimes of Krishna are eternal, Nitya Lila. Raslila will not take place in only, only once, like so many days, different days. Tabra Maratri, actually, Shukadev Goswami said, for how long did Krishna perform Raslila? For how long, for how many days did Krishna perform the Rasa with the gopis? The answer is Ta Brahma Ratra means, Ratra means in the, it's in plural. Ta Brahma Ratra is in the plural. Means many nights of Brahma. Means how many, for how many nights? Not for only for one night. Not on, so one day, one night of Brahma is called one Kalpa. One thousand Chaturyugas, right? So in the end of Dwapara, Brajendra Sundra Krishna comes and perform pastimes with the gopis in this material world. In one thousand Chaturyugas. Means one Kalpa is one day of Brahma which equals one thousand Chaturyugas. Only once in a day Brahma Krishna comes in this world. But in so many Kalpas Krishna is doing Ras Lila. So this verse is in the plural. Ta Brahma Ratra means many nights of Brahma. Many, so, Tabra Maratra. And for how long Krishna was performing Ras Lila, loving pastimes, for unlimited time. Limited time. Shamad Bhagavatam describes this. Even though there's looks like a limit is there, which kind of limit? Sima, like for example, night, after the end, after the, after the end of the night, Krishna told the gopis, you should go back to your houses after the Rasalila. In the Bhagavatam, Shukadeva Goswami explains exactly this. The gopis didn't want to go back to their houses, but still, because Krishna ordered them to gopis, they went back to their houses. It's described. Because in the Lila, when gopis are with Krishna, what happens is kanarde kalpata kalpate kanardam. It's there are six, six symptoms of the Mahabhava, and two of them are these ones. What are the symptoms? Six symptoms of the Mahabhava. Do you remember? Kalpate kanardam kanarde kalpatam, <clears throat> and also what the other ones? What are the names? No one here. Like no one here has any kind of. Um, like, like, how can I just like Gurudev saying like none of you, um, like is useful, right? Because I'm always saying and you'll forget, so actually you're not useful for anything. And you're always asking same things. Okay, so kanarde kalpata kalpate kanardan. There are the two symptoms of Mahabhav. Another one. Atma bismaran. Atma bismaran. Means you forget yourself. You don't know if you are the enjoyer and the enjoyee. We look like we're both the same person. Am I the enjoyer or the enjoyee? Am I? I. You forget yourself. You don't know if you're a relisher or you're like enjoy or enjoy. Oh, yeah, another. The fourth symptom of Mahabhav is Brahmanda Chabakarita means all the universe becomes completely <clears throat> shaken, shook, or like agitated. All the universe becomes like um, shook, shook, shaken, shaken, like completely affected by the Mahabhav. Another tip, tripti joni, tripti joni prapti lalasa, means they want to be born in a species other than a human being, lower species. Because they think as a human being we cannot meet Krishna. Because of the rules of the society, we cannot meet 
another man. So if we were born as like, for example, deer or like a birds, then yeah, then we'd be able to live and stay with Krishna. The name of this Tirtak, I think Tirtak, Johnny Prapti Lalasa. Means you want to be born in a species which is lower than a human being. Human being species. So this is the first video in the Jamuna. Second video is one second. So only the gopis, they perform the Rasalila. Like only the gopis, in body of a gopi, you can enter the Rasalila. So Tirtak, Johnny, Prapti, Lalasa. They want to be born in a lower species, lower than human being. The gopi, like the feeling Mahabhav. For example, if I'm born as a, as a deer, female deer, like doe, or male deer, or if I'm born as a cow, a calf, or a pe peacock, this kind. If we, we will be born like this, then we'll be, be able to always stay with Krishna. No one will make any problem. Like no fuss. Uh, like a disciple will not say anything if we go to meet Krishna, you know. In the Venu Gita, all this is described. Tirtak Johnny Prapti Lalasa. So this is five. And the sixth symptom of Mahabhav is that all the, how's the name? All the, the living entities, sorry, where is that? Brahmanda Chabakarita. No, no, already you told this. Ah, okay, okay. Brahmanda Chabakarita means that all the, all the universe becomes disturbed, like uh, affected when Shemantra is feeling separation from Krishna. Everything becomes stimulated. Everything starts trembling, just like an earthquake. Actually, the earthquakes come from this, you know, actually. We are giving many reasons for the earthquakes. This happened because of this. Anyway, but the Rasika Chadis, they, they say that actually it's a symptom of Mahabha. When Shumatiratka is feeling separation. Which one is left side? All the minds of everyone becomes also disturbed. There's a Sanskrit word for that. What is the name? So the minds of all the living beings become like disturbed or changed. That's why you say, oh, my mind is not good. You feel some agitation in your mind. When Shamati Radhika, she is feeling separation for meeting Krishna, in this separation mood, what happens? Everyone's mind becomes disturbed of all the living entities. In this world, is a perfect reflection, right? Of the spiritual world. But in the spiritual world, all of them in the spiritual world, they feel like something. They don't, they're not, they're not able to concentrate and the mind is not proper. Sometimes you say, oh, my mind is not concentrating today. My mind is not good. Why? Your body is okay? Yeah, my, my half is okay, but my mind is something with my mind. Sometimes you say in this world, why? This is actually because in the spiritual world, Shrimantiradga is suffering so much inspiration of Krishna, so much, that all the jivas, their hearts of all the jivas become disturbed or affected because this world is the perverted reflection of the spiritual world there's another word a sanskrit word for that no i don't know but anyway let me go downstairs my if i start speaking harikata i'll never stop oh you came are you okay oh no he became a bridge bouncing what did you become? You stayed the night in the Rupa Sanatan. Okay, nice. You didn't get a room? No. But in other place you got, right? Okay, good.
Somebody, somebody's boss will live in this room, right? Okay, finish.